Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. Today's video is all about my top 10 beauty products under $10. That is a mouthful to say. But anyway, this is pretty much a tag video. I've seen a couple of people um, do this tag and I thought it'd be fun to do it. So let's jump right in and showing you my favorite Okay, products. so the first products that I want to show you are my Mega Last Lipsticks by Wet n Wild. And these retail for a dollar ninety nine and you can purchase these at your local drugstore, your Targets, your Walmarts, and your Kmarts. And you also can purchase these on drugstore.com. These by far are the best lipsticks that I've purchased. I have some high end and I have some other, you know, drugstore products, but they do not compare to these. Now these come in a variety of shades for everybody. They have your nudes, they have your pinks, they have your oranges, your reds, your purples, and your deeper vampy colors I would say like this color that I have on my lips which is Trey Bomb and then they have like a really dark purple black color I think it's called Vamp It Up. Now I currently have 15 of these shades. I know that's a lot but these are my favorite. I tend, when I want to wear lipstick, I tend to pick up these more, pick up one of these more than I would pick up any of, any of, of my other lipsticks. I'm getting a little tongue tied here. But if you have never tried these, I would definitely say try these. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so the next product that I'm going to show you is from Maybelline and it's the 24 hour color tattoos. Now these are supposed to be um, creamy eyeshadows, but I don't believe that they're opaque enough to be left alone. So I use these as bases and they are absolutely amazing as bases. I have a collection of about 20, 20 or 21 um, colors and I will be getting more once they bring out more. They have two permanent collections. They have your regular one. You have your orange, your green, your blues, your gold, your bronzes, your whites, and your grays and your taupes. And then they have a metallic one where they give you blues, pretty much not all the same colors as the um, first one, but similar colors, just in a metallic finish. And they do come in a variety of finishes and um, they give you shimmers, they give you a couple of mattes, and of course you have the metallic collection. What they also, what Maybelline also does is that they come out with limited edition ones. Not every season, but every once in a while. I wouldn't be surprised if they would come out maybe with a winter one. But these retail for, I would say, it, it varies basically. It, it varies from $5 to I would say $8 depending on where you go. And for those prices, you get about 0.14 ounces of product. Okay, so the next product I wanna show you is another Maybelline product, but it is my Define a Brow Pencil. This product is absolutely amazing. I've tried some high-end ones and they were okay. But for the for the price that they were they were um given the amount of product they were given it just did not it just did not equal to mm -mm. this right here this is I paid seven dollars for this product but like my other products that I've told you that I've showed you before it depends on where you go where the price is so this can retail from four dollars and thirty cents to eight dollars but unfortunately i couldn't find any that cost four dollars so i had to pay seven dollars for it but it is just fine this particular brow pencil lasts a really long time and i have to draw my eyebrows in okay i don't have full complete eyebrows so this lasts me seven weeks so if you don't have to draw your eyebrows in this will last you even longer than seven weeks and this comes in I would say about maybe five or six different eyebrow shades the shade that I use is medium brown which to me is perfect for brunettes raven haired people the next product that I want to show you are my favorite lip liners and they are by Jordana and I got to tell you these are underestimated a lot of people like to you know hit up you know Mac for their lip liners or you know they like to go to you know NYX for the liners and those lip liners are great but these right here 
for two dollars you cannot beat the amount of product that it gives you and the creaminess and smoothness when you apply it to your lips what i really like about these pencils is that they're retractable and when i say that is because you can take as much product as you want and when you're done you can just bring it back down so just in case if you lose your tops you know there's no product sticking out where you would lose the products and again they retail for a dollar ninety nine and you get about 0 0.009 ounces in these pens okay so the next product that I'll show you is a hair care product and this particular product is a staple in my hair care natural hair care journey and it is peppermint oil this stuff is so amazing and it is a definite I would say it's a definite need if you have dry brittle hair aka low porosity hair now for a couple of months i did not have this product and i gotta tell you my hair has gone downhill since i have not had this product now if you have dry brittle hair or aka low porosity hair this is something you definitely would want in your hair care routine what this does basically is open opens up your pores you know and allows if you have low porosity hair it allows the moisture to get into your pores i would say pores or cuticles whatever you want to call it and also this is a natural astringent now peram oil is pricey okay compared to a lot of the other oils I paid $7 at my local beauty supply store for this particular product. But if you're going to like Trader Joe's or, you know, Whole Foods or those type of um, places, this is going to cost you a lot more than $7. But again, this is absolutely amazing product. It has definitely helped in my natural hair growth. Um, I would say from last year, July to December, if you never saw my products of 4C hair, video um i i'll leave you somewhere here here or down below in the description bar where you can see my mini hair picture journey where you would see the growth that i had and i definitely give it all up to this particular product okay so the next product that i want to talk to you guys about is my maybelline the falsy big eyes mascara i know another maybelline product but I don't know, Maybelline is stepping up their game. But anyway, yes, this is the Falsy Big Eyes Mascara. Basically what it is is that it comes with two different wands. This one here is your lower lash your lower lash wand, which is very small and it's supposed to length, lengthen your lower lashes. And then here up top on the purple end is the upper lash um, wand that's supposed to volumize your lashes. And... I've tried different, you know, mascaras, but this one, I don't know, I'm going to continue to buy this one because it's all about this lower lash line wand. Now, I particularly just use this one because I feel that it gives me this really beautiful dolly effect to my eyes, which I love because I don't have long lashes, nor do I have like thick full lashes. And this right here gives me that effect i absolutely love this and this product retails i would say about seven dollars so if you're wondering if you should try this out i would say definitely try this out if you have long lashes or volumizing lashes this would only make it look even better okay so the next part i want to show you is what i have on my face right now and it is my revlon nearly naked press powder and this powder is absolutely amazing now it's supposed to be a finishing powder for the liquid foundation but i wanted to buy this on its own and i'm glad i did because this is my go-to product during the weekends on the weekends if i'm running errands and stuff and i want just a little bit of evenness to my face this is the product that I use. The consistency of this product is so creamy, it is utterly ridiculous. Now, it doesn't give you a, you know, a full coverage, coverage that most people are looking for, but for me on the weekends, I don't care if you can see, uh, uh, you know, a scar here or a blemish here, I really don't care. 
Now, the only negative thing about this is that it doesn't come in a crazy amount of shades. It only comes in, I would say, about six different shades. And I'm in the color deep. Now, for $10, this gives you 0.28 ounces of product and that is fabulous because again I use this every weekend and I have yet to dent it up but if you're looking for something very light and that would even your skin out I would definitely say pick up this product at your local drugstore or you know your Walmart Kmart and Target Okay, so the next product I'm going to show you is something that I showed in my previous video, and it is something that I use that's very important in my skincare routine, and it is my Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. And this particular one is for normal to oily skin, but I got to tell you, I have extremely oily skin because I know some people may, you know, question, does this really work for oily skin? But I got to tell you, I have really, really bad oily skin, and this works well. Now, I would say about five weeks ago, I had a huge major breakout situation and applying this to my face twice a day with my other products um, has helped drastically. So if you're looking for something that's really affordable, that works really, really well, I definitely would suggest this product. If you would like to see the video that I did on how I prevent major breakouts, my nightly skincare routine, I would definitely leave a link down below in the description bar. But again, if you have oily skin, please try this. You will not regret it. Okay, so the next product that I want to show you is something like a couple of the other products I show you that I underestimated. Now, like I said before, just recently, I have really oily skin and I have extremely oily lids. And if you notice or if you've seen my other, you know, makeup tutorials, you notice that I don't put too many shimmers on my lid. And it's because... My lids are so oily that once I put that shimmer on my eyes, I kid you not, 30 seconds, it's going all the way up to the brows. And I didn't know what to do about that situation. But someone suggested to me the e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal. And let me tell you, this is a life saver and it's only $3.00. Oh my God, I just did recently, I'll say last week, I did a cut crease look where the lids had like this really metallic, you know, eyeshadow on it. And when I placed only two drops of this on top of it, I kid you not, it did not bleed. And I just smile every time that I see this works. And for $3, you get 0.53 fluid ounces, but for both your eyes, you're only going to need about two drops what this also does is that it's a, basically a mixing medium so if you have kind of like a, sh a eyeshadow that you want to turn into you know a liquid eyeliner or eyeliner not a liquid eyeliner but an, uh, kind of like a gel eyeliner this will do it and this also will set your eyebrows so if you're having kind of the same issues or you're finding if you want to find a cheap mixing medium this is definitely something you want to try. Okay, so the last products I'm going to show you are the best blushes that I have ever purchased. And it is the La Femme blushes. These are so pigmented. It is ridiculous. And the price point for these are fantastic. Now, I purchased these for about $2.39 each when they were really popular so i don't know if they are two dollars and 39 cents anymore they probably are like three dollars which is just fine because for the pigmentation and the amount of product you get for three dollars these are way better way better than a lot of high-end blushes i'm telling you guys and it comes with so many colors it is ridiculous and confusing and they complement every skin tone from the fairest to the darkest is absolutely amazing you don't necessarily have to get them in a you know in a pot a refill pot like this you can get them in an actual jar they're just gonna cost a little more but no more than like four dollars